it's a couple of days, maybe a week, <laughs> since I filmed the other section of this vlog. I'm trying to actually remember what I filmed. Oh my gosh, of course, the Aurelia event. Um, and actually, that leads perfectly into what I wanted to show you. So after the event, I was offered um, some free items that were kindly gifted by Aurelia, and I wanted to show you them now. So we're sort of looking at the aftermath at the moment because I've just been shooting a reel for them and taking some photos. And I thought while I've got everything on, I will quickly show you what I got. So first up are these stunning heart earrings i think they're so beautiful and also i've really gotten into like hearts recently if you'd have asked me like six, six months ago i wouldn't have worn hearts even if you paid me and for some reason i'm just really into them at the moment um but yeah i love these they're like these hammered heart earrings but they're super super light even though they look heavy and obviously they're dangly but they're not annoying to wear and then I got this hammered heart on a leather rope necklace. Um, and I kind of got this with the thought in mind of wearing it on holiday with like a bikini because I thought the leather would probably do a little bit better in hot weather with like a sunscreen and everything. And then next down we've got this little heart hammered necklace and like the pendant itself like moves along the chain. So it's really, really lovely. And that matches the earrings. And then last but not least, we've got this little shoehorn and, um, not shoehorn, what's it called? Oh my gosh, what is that called? Sh Horseshoe, uh, <laughs> shoehorn, um, a horseshoe with parve, uh diamonds in but i'm not sure that I'm, I, I doubt they're real diamonds but um absolutely gorgeous and this sort of moves along the chain as well so it's really really delicate and dainty so so gorgeous but i kind of love it with the juxtaposition of the really chunky heart at the top i think it looks super cool um so yeah i'm obsessed with everything that i got i've actually got another order coming through because i'm going to do some valentine's content for them um but yeah i just wanted to show you these i'll link all these pieces down below so that you can also buy them um they're absolutely gorgeous such high quality they honestly feel like really expensive but it was basically a pr event that i got invited to by aurelia jewelry i honestly had such a beautiful morning it was at soho house brighton it was beautiful i got to see all the new collections i got to see valentine's day collection the summer collection high summer collection all the things that are going to be coming out there's a new horoscope collections so keep your eye out for that some pearl pieces absolutely everything was beautiful i honestly had such a great morning so thank you aurelia for all of your generosity this last week because the event itself getting sent these pieces i've got another box coming as well um, all of that stuff has been gifted to me and i honestly am so so grateful and I will be, these are like pieces that I will wear every single day. Like you guys know me, I love stacking my necklaces. I even don't leave the house without at least two, if not four necklaces on. Um, and then I've been loving those on route earrings that Becky got me for Christmas um, that have like bows and hearts on, but I thought these were like a nice change up from those as well. So I feel like I've really like completed my jewelry collection with these pieces, like, what more do you want these are so cool like this is such a statement piece this is amazing i've not seen a brand do anything like this piece and then these are so just dainty and sweet like honestly so gorgeous and the way they stack like all three of them together i think they look gorgeous with the earrings as well so yeah honestly i hope you guys enjoyed the aurelia event footage um my camera ba ba my camera battery is flashing at me so I should probably get a move on but um yeah I'll speak to you a little bit later because I've got lots that I want to catch you up with in this vlog. Today I have had quite a slow morning but in a really nice way I filmed a reel for Aurelia featuring the pieces that I just told you about and I also for the rest of today I'm now going to go meet my friend Jamie um we are going to go to Dice Saloon which is like a gaming um kind of a shop uh area where you can play games with people it's really really cool lots of pokemon lots of dungeons and dragons lots of warhammer vibes um a few of my favorite things so we're gonna meet there and then i think we're gonna go for lunch i'm actually gonna take the vlog camera with me you're gonna be leaving this flat if you can believe it because i know that i always forget i probably will forget again um but yeah i am gonna try and take the camera with me so that i can actually vlog outside for once um and show you what we get up to and then i've got work later 
um, just my normal nannying job. So yeah. Okay, quickly what I'm wearing today, obviously all a really jewelry. Who am I? Jewelry. Um, this t-shirt is from Story MFG sample sale. I've just got a, a mesh long sleeve underneath. Jeans are from LF Markey, and then on my shoes, on my shoes, my shoes are Bape Times Adidas, and these are the ones that I put like pins and safety pins on. So yeah, that's today's outfit. I'm gonna put my Stussy jumper on over the top, and then obviously a jacket, and then I'm gonna take my um, Louis Vuitton Neo Noe bag. Here she is, ready to go. And yeah, let's head out. Are you a camera? Yeah, because I'm vlogging today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it is now February the 13th. It's pancake day. And I started the day with eating lots of pancakes with Tommy, so that was really, really good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to go over some of the things that I have recently filmed. Um, I think I told you guys about the Aurelia events. So that was amazing. And then over the weekend, I filmed some clips from a day up in London with my parents, which was really, really great. We went to see the Holbein exhibition at the Queen's Gallery, um, which if you don't know, Holbein was a very famous portrait painter back in the 1500s essentially um so during tudor times he was the painter for the royal family while henry the eighth was king um so we saw a few of his sketches and his paintings which was really amazing and yeah i really enjoyed the exhibition afterwards we did well, we went shopping, but we didn't actually buy anything. Um, I went into Louis Vuitton to try on a Speedy 25 because one of my New Year's resolutions was to add that to my handbag collection. I do have a little bit of a story about that, um, but I think I'm gonna leave that for another video, so stay tuned for that. I didn't buy it while I was in store, but bag might have been added to my collection so you'll just have to wait and see um we also popped into Loewe just because I have to go in there and also we tried on the flamenco bag because that's another one I've been thinking about but definitely don't have the budget for right now so yeah we ended up obviously not buying anything at the time but it was lovely to just go around the shops on New Bond Street it's one of my favorite places to go um and we had a really lovely day uh so yeah so I'll put a few of those clips over while I'm talking but um this morning it's now 1 30 I have been filming some paid work this morning which has been super fun filmed <laughs> shot some photos with Tommy um because we got sent like a couple's uh content idea for some face masks that was actually very funny to film um and then i also have shot some paid content for vintage which has been so exciting i mean you guys know that i love um secondhand pieces shopping secondhand and a lot of what i buy secondhand is from vintage so it's been really amazing to work with them on this item of content so yeah over the moon about that hopefully that will be going up soon so if you go if you don't already follow me on instagram go follow me now and um it's just at rachel von hatley i'll link it down below but yeah i kind of wanted to round this vlog off with a little chat about the fact that a couple of weeks ago now i actually um was officially diagnosed with autism um which has been a really really big deal for me um i am tempted to do a separate video on it because i don't think i can talk fully about it in a vlog um and if you guys have any questions about the process that i went through then please just put them down in the comments if you want to know anything more about the autism assessment that i um did them yeah just ask away down below but obviously if you don't care that's absolutely fine and i know that not everyone will um but i thought it might be important to talk about it so i think i might do just a separate video on that like the journey of the assessment what i had to do um why i went for the assessment um because obviously to look at me or to watch my videos it might not be evident that i have autism um because i've got very good at covering it up 
um, but I yeah scored very highly on the first test which put me through to the final assessment and um, I actually got diagnosed on the day of the assessment which they actually said was quite rare and they only do in cases where they're absolutely certain because normally you have um, an assessment with a doctor and a nurse which is what I did and then the evidence that they take from you gets uh, given to basically a, a not a jury but like a selection of other doctors and psychiatrists and they decide if the evidence is enough to give the um autism diagnosis di diagnosis but um instead i actually got the assessment on the day so um i don't, I don't know if that's good or bad but it, it was a pass and i'm going to take it as another exam pass which makes me feel better <laughs> um so yeah so I think I'm going to talk about that in a different video. I do think that it's important to talk about. And obviously there's a lot more talk about autism at the moment. And I know um, that there has been like a high influx of people going for the assessment, which I actually think is great. Um, I know some people are saying it's like a trend to go and get it done, um, but I don't really feel that. And the doctors have said, like they said during my assessment that a lot of people come through which they don't give the diagnosis to because they believe that those people don't have autism. So it is really like, you know, you, you do have to hit quite highly on the assessment to actually get the diagnosis. So yeah, so I think I might talk about that in a separate video as I think it might be helpful for people, um, especially for people who, and I don't really know the right terminology anymore because I know that my version of uh, autism used to be called Asperger's syndrome but they are trying not to use that term anymore purely because they were finding that people who were then diagnosed with Asperger's weren't particularly getting the support that they needed because you know we can um, talk a lot uh, a lot better uh, that's not really the right word to use but you know what I mean like we can we, we're much better at communicating and um, you know I have been able to have a job and I can live alone and things like this but that doesn't mean that we don't find the same things hard and obviously we've got the same diagnosis as people with um perhaps more severe autism who definitely deserve more help and all of that and this is coming from somebody that used to work in a school for autistic children so I absolutely understand um but they were finding that people with Asperger's were getting sort of a lot less help. So they're trying not to use that now and that everybody who gets the diagnosis deserves help. Um, and I'm going to go into a little bit about that in the video as well, I think, because uh, seemingly it would appear that I don't need a lot of help with things. But it over the years has really affected me. Um, obviously, my mental health um, suffered dramatically um throughout my life and um i found making friends very difficult throughout my life and uh jobs have been quite difficult um so yeah but i'll talk about all of that in the other video so i just wanted to round this vlog off with that and sort of preempt that there will be a video for that and there'll also be a video for the new addition to my bag of collection which is much more exciting <laughs> um so yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog guys uh i'm glad that the camera made it out of the flat for once just honestly it is pouring with rain right now and this is why the vlogs have been very homey recently um and i know that sometimes i'm filming clips and then just doing like the talk sit down talking bit while the clips sort of a b-roll um but that's just how it's been with the weather here like i can't get the camera out in the rain and i have an issue with rain as it is um so yeah but in the summer the vlogs are going to be way more out and about like they used to be so i'm looking forward to that i can't wait to just you know be able to walk out the door and not have to put 15 layers on so yeah thank you so much for watching guys go follow me on instagram if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye